begin, I'd like to give you all a word of thanks and thank you for coming out and choosing Brown Coats locally written Cheating Destiny by Richard Fife to come and watch. So give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you guys so much. Now, as you may or may not know, Wilmington has a thriving theater community. We've of course got the Brown Coat Pub and Theater. You can catch shows up at UNCW, the K3 Community College. There's a K3 Playhouse where Big Dog does all of its productions. We've got Thalian Hall, City Stage at Level 5, and Opera House that all do musicals. And then you can also catch some lo er, original Shakespeare plays with Cape Fear Shakespeare on the Green during the summer. Unfortunately, <coughs> Steve Vernon, who runs Cape Fear Shakespeare on the Green, is very ill and needs some help paying some medical bills. We've got a tip jar over at the karaoke booth where you can give a donation to help him out. So if you could do that, that would be great. And if not, Give yourselves another round of applause for supporting local theater. <laughs> now, as the company stage manager, I have to be kind of a downer and go over a couple of roles. I'm sorry. Though, I do have to warn you, I've got a friend Zoe in the show, and you'll see her a little bit later. She's what they like to call a feminazi. So if you don't listen to the rules that I'm about to give you, she will come out and whoop your ass. <laughs>
does. No, dude, she really doesn't. I wasn't even really watching, and I know she had to look at your name tag to find who the hell you were. I thought you weren't watching, Jeff. I don't have to, Ron. It's the same thing every time she comes in here. You get all googly eyed looking at her. You drool all over the floor, which I have to clean up, by the way. Uh, she has to check your name tag before she can speak to you, and her boyfriend gets closer and closer to knocking your ass out. I even isn't that big. What do you know about him except for where he drinks, really? You can tell a lot about a person when they're drinking. Uh huh, nothing, right? Not a thing. Uh huh. And with her, she's just so smart, funny, full of life. Uh, and you know, these all of the wonderful women that walks to take on the beach and the nights you spend on the phone with her. Like, I can help, but she always has that <laughs> numb skull with her. That she always happens to sit in there and speak loud. <laughs> Seriously? I thought this was a stuffed animal. <coughs> Shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, Hi, Norm. Um, hey, man, I feel bad about today. I was kind of hard on you at work, so let me make it up to you. Let's go out to the Bell Dandy, have a couple drinks you can buy. <laughs> Maybe you can 
next to go talk to her. Maybe get a phone number. Maybe take her home. See her kitty, show her yours. What that is a county march, huh? You know, everyone who goes there, no one new ever shows up. Morgan showed up once. Thought you were trying to cheer me up. No, I'm just pointing out the obvious flaw in your logic. Now, are you going to come willingly, or do I have to drag you out kicking and screaming? <laughs> like you could. Norm would eat you alive. Okay, until five minutes ago, I've never seen any happen. All right, fine, come on, let's go. That's the point. I don't even know why we came here. Because it was your idea. I told you you wouldn't have any fun anymore that I didn't have that you can't drink. You know, you always could have gotten a soda or something. Just some solidarity for the poor pregnant woman. Sweetie, oh. like I told you before we left home, I'm not going to go to a bar unless I'm going to drink something. Water is something. This is what I'm talking about, home sweet home. Tony, uh, two of the usual, please. Sure. You got it. You got it. What are you guys doing? Good, so we're out here. You're doing great. There you go. Hey, dear. You know, Joe, thanks for getting me out, man. I was welcome. Oh, starting to feel a little cooped up in that apartment tonight. <laughs> Not just tonight, man. You've been acting weird for a while. What the fuck's going on? I'm really. I don't want to talk about that. So you like being wound up tight as the spring, is that it? Come on, Ron. Yeah. You've been cooped up in that apartment forever, man. Why haven't you been coming out? I mean, come on, there's plenty of girls in this town you can talk to. I mean, you're really not that bad with them once you actually talk to them. Look, it's just, I, I, I don't know how you feel, man, but emotions aren't just something you, you can think away. I mean, did you still love your girlfriend even after you broke up? I mean, didn't you miss her? No. <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to explain this to you, man. Just, just trust me on this one, Joe. Not everyone is a robot like you. Not even you. Look, mark my words. One day, some girl's going to come along, and she's going to flip your world upside down. <laughs> you know where that's going to happen, Mike? Well, she's a stray, and she's not going to look like a situation. <laughs> um, hi. I was just wondering, well... What? what? You cross all the way over here, you interrupt my conversation with my best buddy? What do you want? Huh? You want to buy you a drink? Is that it? You want my phone number? Oh, you want me to take you home tonight? That's how it's going to go? What the fuck are you even doing in a bar anyway? Please, God, tell me the pregnant bitch isn't drinking. God, you know oh, that. Come on, honey, I'm standing right there when your dyke friend outed you. The man should have moved What are you doing? Go home! Give it up. <laughs> I told you, 
she likes ganging up on me. <laughs> you deserved it. I mean, I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm not hurting anyone. Uh -huh. Yeah, anyone but yourself. What's that supposed to mean? That is weird. Sophie is intense over the hysterics, and Zoe needs to know why she's not saying anything. Who knows what's right? Uh, what's going on, babe? Is everything okay? Yeah, no, I mean, come on. I can officially say I've the best two months of my life. working this bar for years and I get him. And I've seen more lovesick boys spin their wheels in frustration more times than I get him. Take some advice. Move on. Destiny was not on your side this time. I'm not lovesick. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> you are. That's an insult to, to jerks everywhere. Hey, you're not so much lovesick as a creepy stalker. Oh. Listen, <laughs> Ron, we are only trying to You girl, been coming here pretty regularly on Wednesdays, huh? Why don't you write me back? Come on in tomorrow night. I'll even introduce you. Huh? Oh, come on. I don't know. I mean, I'm just getting tired of the same old place. Why don't we go somewhere new? Yeah. <laughs> Where would we go? Uh, uh, Sophie and Zoe were talking about this place down the street. Let's let's just finish these drinks and get out of here. Come on. All right. All right. Something new. Something new. Lead the way, my handsome.
still. Nor the herbs to twitch. It's just your body checking to see if you're actually asleep. Focus. Life with Morgan. How things would have gone that night at only even breaths let my body fall asleep to keep my mind awake. Nice and simple. Nice.
better brush your teeth. You want that bad drink? It's safe to drink. Oh, shit. I gotta get to work. I'm supposed to be the cougar mark 20 minutes. Just to kill me if I'm late. Sure, get it, right? Betty, you haven't worked at the cougar mart in a month since you got that job as assistant manager at the movie den, which I might add took me bullying you to get you to apply for.
Just thinking about what could be, truly dreaming. With this book on lucid dreaming, you can live in any world you want in the comfort of your own bed. You don't have to accept the lot that destiny gave you. The past can be yours to change if you would only have the courage and strength to reach out and change it. Three thirty. Three thirty. Unless from the book. <laughs> what? Do you not like it? Oh, no, no, I love it. It's perfect. I guess I just forgot I told you I even wanted it. it. Looks like I'm not the only one who's a little out of whack from crazy dreams. You said you dreamt about the night we met last night too, right? Yeah, you know, and it's a crazy vivid dream, and then all day today I would swear I'm like losing my mind for the amount of things I thought were supposed to be in one place, but then in another, and it's just. Cheer up, uh, let's finish this bottle of wine, watch that movie, and then by then, it'll be tomorrow. That will be a new day. I have a better idea for you. How about we skip the movie and go straight to bed? I don't want to get too tired of giving you your anniversary gift. Oh, you insist. 
sent his friends over to flirt with me and Jeff right before you showed up. Isn't that the, the damnedest thing to dream? Morgan? Uh, honey, are, are you? No, you're not. You're Ivan's girlfriend. He did send those girls over. <laughs> no, it's the 15th. Picked up that boat two days ago, and yesterday I went to work as always. Didn't see Morgan or Ivan. Been drinking with Jeff at the Bell Dandy last night. Yeah. Live your dreams. Feel like crap for a week afterward. You know, Norm. In the history of bad ideas, this book must sit somewhere near the top, right next to alcoholic energy drinks and me drinking English. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
This was more than just a dream, Tony. Ron, it was just a dream. Maybe it felt real. Maybe it bits reality worked into it, but sweetheart, it was just a dream. Listen, these kids who mess with this shit, tell you they couldn't tell reality apart from their dreams anymore. Not a good path. Oh, no, this was more, more than just a dream. I, I have memories. More memories than I should. I feel like there's three different ways these past couple months could have gone inside of my head. Those girls. Those girls that talked to us two months ago. Yeah, Ron, they did, buddy. Hey, I remember that night pretty well, because as I was going to say before you interrupted me, Sophie and I got together. Wait, you're going out with Sophie? Yeah. Miss Airhead, I got knocked up. Hey! What? what? <laughs> she's she's not pregnant. She, oh my god. I heard Sophie go down the corner. You were standing right behind. Never mind. No, no, no fuck you. No, never mind. No, no, no. <laughs> Nothing. That isn't real anymore. Maybe it is, and this is just a dream. Okay, okay, uh, we're gonna change something. I really don't like this one. Um, <laughs> I'm kinda in trouble with, uh, with, uh, Sophie right now, and I thought she was gonna dump me, which is why I got really worried, because she's kinda weird, but, um, see, I forgot that it was our two-month anniversary <laughs> the other day, and, uh, God, she pissed! Don't you all like, anniversaries are for years, right there in the name! I know, I said, I didn't, I didn't say that to you. Yeah. I mean, I said it to her, I'm like, Apparently, <laughs> 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 she was expecting uh, flowers and candy and Engelberg Humperdinck and I don't know how the fuck I'm getting out of this one, man. Why bother? I might not even be here tomorrow. Oh my gosh, she's gonna dump me in shape. <laughs> Never mind. Oh. Hi, sweetie. Are you ready to go on that makeup dinner? What is it? Jeff, I told you, man. It was just, just a dream, man. Just a, a, a crazy dream. It was just a dream, man. What are you talking about? I just had a really vivid dream last night. And I still thought parts of it were real, and I just said something really dumb. And that was? I just told him that I thought you were pregnant. That I was no, what? No, 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 no. And you believed him. You believed him because this space case had a weird dream about me. Do no. I look bad? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see, he was in. I got confused. <laughs> oh, I find it funny you calling me a space case. Dude, really? Hey, shh, I can forget him. Okay, hey, look. Why don't we go out and have a makeup dinner? You know, make you feel better. Great. Where are we going? Uh, uh huh. Um, it's a uh -huh. mm, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea what we're doing, do you? Yeah, I got <laughs> It's all right. I figured that you would face out of me, so I already made reservations at that new and um very expensive Italian place off the market. Oh. <laughs> 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 well. What? I'm not a complete dead Zoe. No, you said you were. Actually, your best friend, Mr. Space K's over there just kind okay, of... Okay, so you're not helping. I know. <laughs> anyway, you better get going if you're not going to miss our reservations. Oh, and make sure to pin your wallet. Uh, yes, dear. See so, ya. Yeah, you were so dead. <laughs> <laughs> What? Zoe, do we know each other? What kind of question is that? Just a question, just one from a very out of it person. Well, Ron, I've been hanging out with you and those two lovebirds for the last two months, so I'd say that yes, we do know each other. Why? Uh, have you talked to Morgan today? No. Why? No reason, I guess. Alright, Ron, look at me. I can deal with Airhead. Hell, my best friend is the poster girl for that. But you, sir, are not an Airhead. So why don't you just say me a 
lot of time and energy and a lot of grief from you. And just tell me what's going on. Nah. Excuse me? He messed with Lucy dreaming, and uh, now he's all upset his real life in his dream. Tony, don't you have a bar to run or some glasses to clean? I don't know, or something? Hey, talking about it is the best way to remember what is real. Now listen, if you keep this all inside, it's just going to keep messing with you. How exactly do you know so much about lucid dreams? <laughs> I saw a late night documentary on it. <laughs> <laughs> Hadn't been in there about some quack job with a book. <laughs> Only get this. He's claiming you can actually change the past simply by dreaming about it. Yeah. Oh, of course, he had spout these, you know, vague warnings about how the dreams are dangerous, something you shouldn't mess with unless you know what you were doing. Well, how do you get to know what you were doing, I ask you? I didn't just know how to be a bartender. I had to learn it. Get my hands dirty. I bet you all these dreams don't mess with dreams when you don't know what you were doing are dead on. And he is a prime example of how messed up they can make me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some glasses to wash. <laughs> about the last thing I want. I'm just going to go for a walk. I don't think that's such a good idea. Is this real? Was yesterday real? What yesterday am I even talking about? Oh, God. What's happening to me? I can't still be sleeping, can I? No, that must be it. I must still be dreaming, but I'm gonna wake myself up. Punching hasn't worked. <laughs> Guess I could try jumping off a building or something, but what if that doesn't work? Go through the rest of this crazy dream with a broken leg? <laughs> no, 
I just need to wipe this out. I mean, I have to wake up eventually, don't I? Then all these crazy dreams can, can fade away like, like normal. Maybe if I go to bed, that'll help. Then again, I could wake up with two more months of memories, and for all I know, I'll be working on a fish market on gutting yeah. detail. <laughs> oh.
should I even care anymore? Memories are such a jungle in these past couple months. I don't even know what's real anymore. I guess the ones that are the clearest are the real ones, but all the other ones, they just feel so real too. What do you think? What do I even work anymore? <laughs> assistant manager of the movie then by now. <laughs> like everyone else has been. They're not gonna buy any movies. <laughs> No, nah, probably not. So what do you say, Norman? Is it finally over? I think I'll repeat that dream tonight, just to be safe. <laughs> Maybe if I do everything exactly the same, and avoid that rush of crazy memories. <coughs> yeah. Today, I think it's going to be a good day. It's <laughs> <laughs> not that. You sure? Yeah, yeah I'm sure. I mean, the only bleeding she was doing was from that nosebleed she had this morning. <laughs> okay, seriously, dude, that's gross. Uh, wait, you said she had a nosebleed? Yeah, why? Well, because either they're contagious or you two are doing lines because you got one too. What do you know? Hold on, I got a. I got a towel. <laughs> That's all. You sure? You no, know, I, I get them all the time and just don't remember it. Of course I'm sure. That's not what I didn't mean, guys. You get those things. Are you sure you're okay? Anyway. So, uh, how was Sophie? Uh, okay, I guess. Why? Aren't you dating her? <laughs> no, hell no. No. I, I've been with Zoe for uh, two months now, man. You know that. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I guess I'm just a little out of sorts, worried over Morgan, that's all. Oh, yeah, okay. dude, your nose is bleeding. Go, go clean that up. Yeah, don't burn the place down. I'm gonna get you cleaned up. Okay. Go to Cougar Bar, Cal. You're not him. Him, who, sir? Him, does he work here? Who's him, Where's sir? The book, I... Where the fuck's the book? Uh, hey, man, is there something I can help you with? No. Hey, you're him! What, what, I mean, no, not the him you were looking for, but you're him. You're Ivan, right? Yeah. Hey, I 
Jeff from the building. Oh, oh, you, you, his, uh, his, his little decoy, the one he sent after me. Look, dude, I'm getting fucking serious. Where, where is he? Uh, dude? I don't think it's time you, uh, Why is that? Is he here? Because I just think you need to go. Why? I don't think the cops will agree with me. So, uh, tell, tell us how to Yes, okay. 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 I'll, I'll do that, buddy. I don't know what this is. Always. I'm fine. 
It's over. Of course it is. No more memories. No more changes. Everything, everything is going to be fine. Steal it? Well, see, you won't at her first. Hey, she's my girl, man. You're some crazy bomb now. Last I checked, she said we're ending this. Ron, you okay? You know this guy? Yeah, it's chill, Jeff. I got this. I didn't know what you dare to ask. Take that one. I'll be fine. Excuse me. Why don't you just go sit back down? I gotta say the same thing, you punk. <laughs> now, you two have no clue what you're doing, or what it's doing to you, or even those around you. I mean, do you have any idea that every time you change the past, you not only change it for us, but for everyone even remotely around us? And what's worse, what really gets me mad, is that you're using this unique ability that you both just happen to have to do what? Fight over a girl. What am I, some kind of prize to you? No, it's nothing like that. Maybe at first, but I didn't know 
was doing, it was, Morgan, I, I found that I really do love you. We were happy. We are happy. No, Morgan, we had something special. And then he came along and just took it. What was I supposed to do? Let him? We were happy. We should be happy. I remember. I, I had all the members just like you. And you know what? Yeah. Honestly, I believe you. I've had four wonderful months with both of you in a space of just two. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't going to work. I'm not going to trade memories every single night while you two fight over me like two babies chasing after a rattle. I know what you're doing now. I am done with it. The only futures and paths open to you are the ones where I know exactly who and what you are. And they're also the ones where I'm not in either of your lives. I'm sorry. Goodbye, Ryan. Everything and nothing at all. 